Now for Shane Gostis Bear, his time with the Philadelphia Flyers is over. He's going to the desert. Coyotes acquiring him and two draft picks from the Flyers. Let's hear from Shane on the move. The last three years, if you're judging just by that, um, you know, I battled through a lot of injuries, um, injuries that have hampered my ability to play the way that I play. And um, last year, I think I took the next step in leaving those injuries in the past and moving forward. And, um, you know, for how tough of a season we had individual, individually wise, I thought I had a really good season and, you know, it's something for me to springboard from. So going into a fresh start with, you know, coyotes and whatnot, it still feels really weird to say that, but you know, it's, uh, it's exciting. I mean, um, I'm really, really excited for the opportunity and do whatever I can to help the team win. Shane Gostas bear talked about the injuries. How can you not root for that kid? There he is as a youngster. Coral Springs, Florida. I love that. Love Coral that. Springs Coyotes. Wow. That's, That's awesome. neat. Yeah, that is so awesome. neat. And this is a young man who's been through, when he says injuries, you're talking about scopes on both knees, torn ACL back in the day. His arc, his career in Philly, there was a time he was mentioned in the same breath as Ivan Provorov. Clearly, things did not work out there. What kind of a fit will he be in Arizona? Lots. I think he'll be a great fit, to be honest with you, and I think he's going to put a lot of value back into his career. A lot of people, let's face it, they were just scared off by the decline in play and the salary and amount of years that were left. That's all. He's not a bad player, but in Philly, he had some new people in running the ship. They didn't value him in a role that he needs to be in to be effective. So he got pushed down to a lesser role. It didn't play well for him. Now he goes to a team that's losing all kinds of guys. All right, you're going to have Chicker and Oliver Ekman Larson back. But now if you can add the ghost into that team, you don't know what's going to happen with Dalagosti. He's not re-signed to my knowledge. Did I miss something in the last couple hours here? Pending uh, UFA. Yes, okay. Yeah, they're still up there <laughs> Just pending. Yes, yes, we could always put pending UFA. And the same with Osterley. But at the end of the day, the Arizona Coyotes, they need defensemen. They're, and Yarmulson wasn't on that board either. He's gone. Demers wasn't on that board either. He's gone. So this is a great opportunity for him, Reader, in my opinion, to have, have a chance to really put a lot of value back in his career because I do think that Shane's an excellent player. Just needs to be in the right role. And, and he's on a team that uh, the, Arizona's close, but I, I think other teams are going to pass Arizona in the way they're moving along and a lot of the changes that Bill Armstrong is doing. So it, it, is this a rebuilding Arizona? Possibly. The fans probably don't want to hear it. gosper has got tremendous offensive skill. He's is skating. His puck movement, his offensive abilities are there, and you don't lose that. Uh, sometimes it slows down with age, but he's not to that point yet. Uh, just because his points have dropped doesn't mean that his that his his skill levels dropped. It hasn't. Uh, I think it's a great pickup. I think a, a change of scenery for a lot of players, and this might be a year or two past uh, or overdue on the change of scenery for yeah. Tom Goss's bear. Yeah, and, he, and, he just was unmovable. He, Call it what it was. The contract was this, too much. The role was say, diminished. Got a, Arizona got a second round pick with this that's in right. 2022. So that, that's the, the added bonus. It's like, hey, now we can move the contract. And for Shane Goss's bear, it's fantastic. I mean, we have so, so many players in the game today that their contracts are unmovable. Remember when Roberto Luongo said it years ago? I have the worst contract yeah. in the world because he couldn't, nobody yeah. would take it. He couldn't be moved. And now you see a lot of players are in that situation. A change is what you need, and that's exactly what Shane Gossesbury yeah. needs. I think it's a great change for Gossesbury. He's still got the skill. He's still got that offensive ability. You know what? And if he gives up a little bit of defense, you don't have to worry about it. He'll make up for it in the All offense. Right. And there's not going to be that same critical criticism constantly. It's like, oh, you know, going back last year, the year before. No, no, fresh start, clean slate. I think it's a great move. Plus, Bill Confidence, Armstrong. reader. Yes, got you, the you second know pick. It. I think it's great. You know it as well as anybody. Without confidence, you're nothing in the National Hockey League. And when you're not able to do what you do best, it eats away at your confidence. So the first thing Arizona needs to do is inject some back into him. Give him some opportunity back. Let him earn it. But once he gets that, that's his superpower. When he's a confident defenseman, Remember all the games he would score in overtime, oh, creating yes. things yeah. that he joined. It was incredible. Yeah. I think Arizona has a chance to see that. We hope that Shane is able to get back to that level of play.